YouTube, what's up, man? We're getting late into the football season. It's looking really bleak in the NFC East. I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. That is my team. I live in Philadelphia. Most of you guys know that. If you're new here, get used to that. The Philadelphia Eagles are my team. They're probably my favorite team in the whole world between them and the Sixers. Just really been rooting for them a long time. It's been a very disappointing year so far. But after that come up from behind win against the Giants, which I attended this weekend, we still have life. We still look like we kind of had an upper hand to win the division. The Cowboys are really starting to cook with gas after beating the Eagles and the Redskins in back-to-back -back weeks. So that's definitely good. They definitely have more of the momentum. But the schedule's down the stretch. They're pretty even both ways. We're going to go over that in a little bit. But I just want to, I mean, the Eagles, for me, they're so injured on defense that, I mean, it's going to have to be on the offense. The offense isn't really injured at all. You know, they never really had a running back. Obviously, Jay Ajayi being hurt for the year. He was a solid running back. Obviously, not a Pro Bowl caliber running back or a superstar. But Jay Ajayi was very solid running back. Got a lot of things done for the Eagles. And they're starting to miss that, obviously. But other than that, they're pretty healthy. I mean, they have all the weapons in the world. I, I mean, if they can't find a way to get things done... With, with obviously one of the best tight ends in the NFL. They have Alshon Jeffrey. They have Aguilar. They just acquired Golden Tate, who hasn't done anything. And they have a good second tight end. They have a decent offensive line, although I think they've really not played very well this year, and I think that's one of the biggest reasons for the regression in the offense. And at the end of the day, they have Carson Wentz, who, we, who is a franchise quarterback. I think he's special. I think they need to get it together on offense. That's what's been most disappointing in the last couple weeks is just their offensive output. We knew that Drew Brees was going to fry them in New Orleans because they have me and you playing DB. You know, everybody's hurt. They're down to LeBlanc, Sullivan, and Ballsby. I mean, if you guys know any of those guys, I would be surprised because I don't know them. I'm a Madden player. It's my job to know pretty much every player in the NFL to see if they can fit my man roster and whatnot. But So they're really hurt on defense, especially with Hicks being out last year. We, they lost Derek Barnett for the year. So I expect them to give up a lot of points, man. I really do. So I think the offense really needs to kick it going if they want to make the playoffs. On the other hand, the Cowboys, man, Amari Cooper, had, obviously they paid a lot for him with a first-round pick. But he's been very good so far. He's really helped Dak out a lot. I think their biggest weakness is their coaching staff. I'm really impressed with them. Um, the linebackers, Jalen Smith and Van Der Esch, really have been very good. Their defensive line we knew was good with DeMarco, or whatchamacallit, uh, Lawrence and Randy Gregory. They just really have some players that can get after the quarterback, and, and they've been like that for a while. And, and Byron Jones has emerged into a pretty damn good corner in the NFL. So they're playing well on the defensive side of the ball. If their offense can put some points together, they're, they're a pretty solid football team. I think their coaching staff really holds them back. I don't hate the Cowboys. I hate all you Cowboys fans. You guys are cockroaches, and and I can't stand the Cowboys fans. Now, the Redskins, Redskins, honestly, of the, the three teams, I mean, all three teams have are have good points, you know, are labeled as solid. The Redskins are the definition of solid. I believe if you go back to, like, the last 10 years of Redskins football, they are 500, like 80 and 80. Like, they are just the definition of mediocre. And that's how they were. But I feel like the strength was the, their defensive line. They really drafted a lot of players up in that defensive line. And it started the show this year. Obviously, losing their quarterback is what's going to, I think, remove them from this race. I mean, to be able to get things done, they really don't have very many weapons. I mean, they acquired Paul Richardson this year. And I don't know if he's done that much. I haven't followed the Redskins that closely. But to lose the quarterback is just a killer blow. Alex Smith, who already was average, a game manager, but to lose him and have to go to Colt McCoy is definitely going to hurt their chances to win this division. But let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I want to take a look at these schedules coming forward because right now the Eagles are five and six, I believe. I believe the Cowboys are six and five, and the Redskins are six and five. So both, I mean. The Eagles are one game back. They have a lot of division games left to be played. The Eagles do, as do the Redskins. But the Eagles have every opportunity to win this division. It's going to be on them, as do the, do the Cowboys, and so on and so forth. But we'll take a look at these schedules. What I think is going to happen, some of the biggest games coming down the line, which ones I can really look forward to. And you guys comment below which games you think are going to look forward to. And also, if you think I'm wrong, man, please correct me on what you guys think is going to happen. But this is, this is the schedules going forward. I took some time just to lay these out. Obviously, Blue Cowboys, Redskins, and this the Eagles over here. 
And as far as I'm concerned, the the Redskins, although the Redskins have the easier schedule, easiest schedule going down the line, I think without their quarterback, it, they they're really going to struggle. But looking at this, I I feel like if we just go next week, the Eagles Redskins game is going that's going to determine everything. I mean, if I obviously I'm an Eagle fan, so I, I the Red the Eagles better win at home on Monday night in South Philly. So if we go with an L for Redskins, a W for the Eagles, Eagles taking that game. The Cowboys are going to lose to the Saints. Now, this is a home game for the Cowboys. I'm not I'm not feeling this that much because it's such an obvious. The Saints are playing so well. It's such an obvious loss for the Cowboys that I think the Cowboys might pop up. They have a lot of momentum. I think this game right here is going to be closer than a lot of people think. The Cowboys defense is playing very well. We're going to see if, if Jalen Smith and Van Der Esch can really handle Alvin Kamara. I don't think any linebacker can. But Byron Jones is playing really well. We'll see how he matches up with Michael Thomas. That's going to be a big game. Can the Cowboys control the game and really take some air out of winning the Saints? The Saints are probably playing the best football in the NFL right now. And they're probably the best team in the NFL. So, I mean, I, I want to pencil this L in and just forget about it. But I'm definitely going to be tuned in because I think it's going to be a good game. Because of how much momentum the Cowboys have, and a home game for the Cowboys, you know the Saints are amazing in the dome, but they're oh they're not that great outside the dome. I mean, it's been better this year, but that's just historical. So we'll see how it goes. Although they're not going outside, out in the, out you know in the elements, they're going to still be in Dallas, so it's not going to be that bad. But we'll see. But we'll give them an L there. Then next week, we'll, we'll you know the Giants suck, so we'll give the Redskins the W now. This is the game that the division is going to come down to right here. It's in Dallas. Eagles at Dallas. The the Cowboys are gonna have a little extra time preparing because they played this Thursday night game against the Saints. I'm an Eagle fan. We're going W for the Eagles, L for the Cowboys. Boom. So right now the Cowboys are sitting at six and seven. The Eagles have pulled back to seven and six. The Redskins right here, Redskin territory. What are they sitting at? Loss. So they're seven and six as well. They're seven and six as well. So boom, still alive. This is a trick. Now we go to the next week. Boom. Now the Colts, that's a tricky game. Just like the Eagles, the Eagles have an automatic L right here in, in Los Angeles. The only way this isn't an L is if the Rams lose and somehow start resting people super early, but they won't. The Eagles, the Eagles defense won't be able to stop the Rams, and the Eagles won't be able to score enough points. It, uh, that That's pretty much an automatic L. As, big, as much as the Saints is an automatic L for the Cowboys, the Rams or the Eagles, that's an automatic L. Now, I think the Redskins will be able to take care of the Jaguars. The Jaguars have fallen off a cliff. So, you got to give the, the, the Redskins a W here. Now, the, the Cowboys at the Colts, man. This is a tricky game. Just like the Eagles hosting the Texans. I feel like these two games are hand-in-hand. -hand. A lot of people look at the Eagles' schedule and say they're going to lose to the Rams and lose to the Texans. So, why can't I say the same about the Colts? I feel like the Colts are playing great football right now. This is a road game for the Cowboys. I got to give them an L. Boom. So next week, they'll definitely beat the lowly Buccaneers who will give up a home game against them. Boom, that's a W. And they'll definitely beat the Giants in the last week of the season. Redskins at Titans, that's a tough, tough game. The Titans are playing great football. They play tonight against the Texans Monday night, so that's going to be determined. What their record is going to determine how much they play. I got to give the Redskins an L right here for the Titans. Boom. The Texans, I... This is tough for me. I, I think the Eagles can beat the Texans. I think they can slow them down. But we'll see. I, I got to get... Sh Man, this is a tough game. I think I think the Eagles are going to need this game to win the division, really. Because right now you're looking at... Because let's go here. I got ahead of the Eagles. The Eagles got to win this game right here against the Redskins. Boom, boom, boom. So right now, if this is the case... This is how I see all these other games. This is the case. I mean, you got they're going. They're seven and six right now. I think the cow. No, the Cowboys are six and five, so they're going to end up six and nine and what? Seven and nine? No, eight and eight. This is eight and eight. Cowboys going to end up with a strong eight and eight. Boom. The the Redskins, who are also six and five, are going to be the same record. Eight and eight. Eight and eight. Boom. The Eagles were five and six. Give me this eight. So can they go eight and eight? If they lose this game, they'll be eight and eight. If they win it, they'll be nine and seven. We gotta give them the W. Give them the division at nine and seven. 
they can beat the Texans at home late in December. That can definitely happen. If not, it's going to come down to tiebreakers. And if the Eagles win all these divisions, they'll be 5-1 and one in the division. And that will take the cake, I believe. I think, oh man, I think. I'm not sure about the division record. So if the Eagles lose to the Texans, boom, boom. They lose that game. Every team is 8-8. Eight and eight. It will come down to division record, I, I, I'm assuming. I mean, I'm not the rule expert. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section. But I assume it will come down. To the division, it will definitely come down to the division record. The Eagles will be 5-1 and one in the division. The Redskins will be cooked. They'll be out. And then eventually, hopefully, I don't I don't think the Cowboys lost to any other team. Let's go take a look. It's not that hard to go like this. Boom. Boom. Go back here. Because then they would make the, then the, the Cowboys could easily be 5-1 in the division as well. But I think they lost to the Redskins already. They beat the Giants. Yeah, they lost to the Redskins. So if they all end eight and eight. Like I said, every team ends eight and eight. The Eagles will have a five and one division record. These other teams won't have as good division record. I'm assuming that's what it goes by. If it goes by conference, then the Eagles are going to be they're going to be hurting a little bit because they did take a lot of conference losses with the Panthers and the Vikings and so on and so forth. But that's the way I see it. I think the game's going to come down a lot. Obviously, we talk about the Eagles going to lose the Rams. Cowboys going to lose to the Saints. Are the Cowboys going to lose in Indianapolis? And are the Eagles going to lose at home to the Texans? That's where uh, uh, the question is. And also, are the Redskins going to lose on the road at Tennessee? That's the tough game, too. Really tough game, but ultimately, it's going to come down to the Eagles versus the Cowboys, the Eagles versus the Redskins. That's pretty much it. As bad as the Eagles have played defensively, they got a chance to win. All they got to do is beat the Cowboys, and then go down here and take care of the Redskins twice. I mean, if it came that you told me at the beginning of the year, the division's going to come down to beating the Cowboys and beating the Redskins without Alex Smith with Colt McCoy, I would have took that every day. That's why I think the Eagles are going to get done. If you disagree, please comment. Let me know what you think the three teams' record is going to be at the end of the season. I think the Eagles will be 9-7. I think their only loss is to the Rams here. If they get another loss, it's going to be the Texans. They cannot lose a division game. If they lose a division game, they're cooked. So they got to beat the Redskins twice, and they got to beat Dallas. They can honestly lose the other two games the way I see the schedules. If they beat the, win the division games, that's all it comes down to. So let me know what you guys think. That's pretty much how I think the NFC East is going to turn out.